Fun time. First thing to, to just mention Middlesbrough in the cup in the next round now. Um, what, what do you as a, as a bunch of players and you individually make of that as well, particularly after all the emotion that, you, that came out on Tuesday? Um, me personally, um, I wasn't looking forward to like any of the, the teams. I just like wanted to play the next game. It wasn't I won the Prem team or um, I said to some of the guys in the team, like I'm 32, it's not like I'm going to Liverpool away, play a good game and the team's going to call me. No, I'm, I just want to play games and play well. So maybe this draw is, is more achievable to get into the next round than, than a Premier League team. And that's how I look at it. I was going to say, it's quite pragmatic from a player's point of view, isn't it? I suppose you've got to think to yourself, and we're going to go into a game and play well. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Regardless of who it's engaged, you've got to think about, about yourselves at this stage. Yeah, you, want, you obviously like, you want the experience going to like a big side and a nice stadium, but if there's a chance to go to the next round again, and then you'll, you'll get the big team eventually. How's the, how's the kind of cup run helped this season because it's it's kept momentum going when maybe league results have been a bit tough and such and, and there's been some good nights along the way I think the penalty shootout against yeah. Crew and Tuesday night how has that helped maybe keep keep that group focused and together? I think um, it's not necessarily helped our season up until now where we came off a bad run and, and kind of needed to do something to get the fans back on our side and um, we definitely felt that support on, on Tuesday and well, hopefully this is a kickstart again. And one of the, the parts of Tuesday that I think a lot of people have agreed on is with you and, and Ollie and, and Alfie together in that midfield and he talked about how the three of you all work together. From your perspective, what was that like having the two of them kind of a, a, maybe a little bit closer to you and how the three of you all work together? Um, it just felt very uh, fluid, like we, we, we felt like where we were going to go and I, I, we feel of gaps for each other's uh, and yeah it's one of these games you go into it maybe not with the best feeling like coming off the run we've had but just like the gaffer just like emphasized before the game like we were the league one team in there so no matter how good their run was up until that point we just needed to go in there and win that game um, and he said that before the game as well and, and that just gave us confidence and as midfielders that's something you need and we just went in there and we did what we did. What have you made of, of both of those lads? Because with the greatest respect, you've told everybody how old you are now, so you're they're very much the yeah, <laughs> you're, you're thirty two. So they're like the they're they're at the very different end of their career than, than you are. So as the experienced player in that trio, what have you made of them and their development and how they carry themselves as footballers? Um, they're just at the start, and like they've I've I've been there, and I know how it is. Um, but they're handling it well. Um, these games. Well, they, they show up, they perform and, and maybe blast a bit more than Alfie because he gets more game time um, and he's been great, but both of them uh, have been great. Um, the only thing I can say is like Tuesday was a very high high. Don't get too high, don't get too low, just um, stay balanced. Do you enjoy playing with, with lads like that who obviously have got a lot of energy and they're right at the start of their career and they, and I suppose, do they look to you for, for advice and guidance you know, on the pitch and off the pitch as well? How do they behave? Um, it's not necessarily an age thing. I just like to play with guys who are open for um, feedback and criticism and, and, and that are coachable and I definitely feel like these two and, and most of the teams in the, most of the guys in the teams are like that. Um, let's talk about the FA Cup because you know it, it's a chance to, to go to the next round. You've already had one bit of cup success this week. Um, you've already played Burton though. How does that, if if it's all factor into the way you play the game, being as you played him not too long ago? Um, like I said before, like hopefully it's a kickstarter. We get a bit of a boost. Um, play at home, get the fans back on our on our side. And if I do remember correctly, the last game we played, we lost, but we were the better team. So I think the game plan is probably going to be the same. Um, we just need to defend better and, and score more goals. How important is it, like you said there, to get to get the crowd on your side? Because we've seen you know mixed reactions at times, particularly in home games. What does that do for, for the players? And, and how do you kind of try and get them back on your side in those situations? I don't want to shoot myself in the foot here, but it, it's not great for the players on the pitch when, when you play at home. Um, we mentioned it before the last time we played Bertham I mean, if we won the game we would have gone top of the league and um, I think we go behind and we kind of get booed and you're like 
we can still win this game here and, and if we need if we get the support we're top of the league. So at times it feels strange when we do something and, and we're not on the same page with the fans, but then again they they work hard for the wages and they pay season tickets so if they expect something they're in their right to um, express themselves.